the one thing that he left me with was the sense of transience and change, uh, which actually became fundamental to my life, my approach to it, and not holding on to anything, not considering that there is anything that will last through one's entire eternal life, living all day. And it makes letting go very easy. Material things or physical things. Uh, and looking for the source of one's own being becomes much more important.
to a universal order lies, and that that becomes that can become a life.
yeah, it's an amazing experience because, you know, again, it's, uh, I'm just going straight in here. Yeah. Because technology okay, seems to be separating everybody further and further away from actual kind of like human connection. So I think whenever people from different parts of the world can kind of get together to kind of share ideas, share music, share whatever in a positive way, and it's definitely a blessing for everybody. So, you know, I feel really uh, privileged to be here to experience what's been going on.
personified, I think, by the uh, the rave culture of the last few years, where the audience is at least as important as whoever is playing at the rave. Um, it's almost like the artist is to accompany the, the audience and what the audience is doing. And that feeling is very much permeating.
I don't, like, it's not like I really made something and I spend like ages listening to it after it's made. And a lot of the time when I'm writing stuff, um, you kind of, I kind of have like doubts about what I do anyway, so I don't really call it dubstep or anything, but I guess generally it's called dubstep because of, you know, media and the, the, the kind of need that society seems to have to put everything in a box or on a shelf, you know.
this realization is that experience which is called in Zen Satori or in Buddhism Bodhi awakening. This sudden dawning on our consciousness that life is not really a contest to make yes triumph over no, to make the positive triumph over the negative. The two sides go together. And then one sees in this strange way that underlying all that is negative in the world, all that is in a way painful and evil, there is a kind of necessity to it. It goes with the good. It is necessary for the good.